Hi there, today I want to show you one of the coolest UI libraries I used for React and Tailwind. It has a lot of components and it doesn't take time to customize the component for your own uh, theme. So without uh, wasting much of your time, let's check it out. The library is uh, called uh, Hero UI. It was previously called uh, Next UI and they change it to Hero UI. This is the official library website and the components uh, illustration. So let's go ahead to the documents and let's see what uh, we will need for the installation. Uh, what we need, we will need React 18 or later, Tailwind CSS for the time of recording. Tailwind uh, CSS v4 is uh, still uh, in uh, beta mode. So for now we will uh, stick with uh, Tailwind uh, v3. And also the library needs a framer motion because uh, it uses framer motion for the components uh, animation. So for the project, I will be using Vit to create uh, the project, the React project, and uh, you can use uh, whatever you want. So let's uh, get uh, the command here. Let's copy, paste it uh, into the terminal. Uh, let's okay. Let's choose a name for the project. Let's select React. Okay, TypeScript. Let's cd into the project, npm install to install the dependencies and clear. I will be using IntelliJ for uh, my IDE. You can use VS Code or uh, any text editor or IDE you want. So let's uh, take a look uh, at the project uh, files. As uh, you can see, it's a simple uh, React project. Let's uh, run it now, npm run dev. Let's copy the link. Okay, go back to the browser, paste, and here it is, our uh, React project up and running. Now, let's uh, move on to the next step, which is uh, set up in uh, Tailwind CSS. Okay, so let's go ahead to the Tailwind uh, website. Click here, select uh, Tailwind uh, V3. Let's go to the docs installation. Okay, let's uh, select framework v and let's uh, copy the these commands. Okay, copy, paste. Next one, copy, paste, and next let's uh, just copy the content of this file and uh, paste it uh, in the Tailwind config file. Okay, select all, paste, uh, next let's copy these uh, directives and uh, add them to the index, the point CSS, let's remove the, uh, okay, the app CSS, we don't need it anymore, and let's just do some cleanup, okay, remove, 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 we don't need, we don't need remove, and uh, I think we are done, yeah. Yeah, we are done. So let's uh, spin up the server, the React server, and uh, let's uh, return and uh, check it out. Checking the page. Okay, it's running. That's good. Okay, let's create a div, class name, flex, items center, justify center. Okay, let's add the height screen and let's create a button. Uh, just a simple button with some Tailwind classes to see if it's uh, really working. Okay, padding and just some rounded LG. Okay, here is uh, our button, so Tailwind uh, CSS is working. Okay, moving uh, to the next step, which is uh, Hero UI uh, installation. Okay, let's pause here for a moment. For uh, Hero UI installation, we have three options. First one is uh, automatic installation using the CLI. We can choose between uh, Next.js uh, project, app router or pages router, or uh, a normal uh, Vit uh, project. Uh, next, we have, uh, okay, we have manual uh, installation. Let's uh, pause here for a moment too. This uh, option is for uh, installing Hero UI in pre-existing React project. 
and it will uh, install all the hero ui component directly in uh, our uh, project and moving on to our third option which is uh, installing the uh, packages the components one by one so let's uh, start with uh, this command to install hero ui and uh, framer motion okay copy paste waiting uh, to finish next let's uh, add this uh, tailwind uh, css plugin hero ui okay import add next the the dark mode uh, class for handling uh, dark mode and light mode and let's add the hero ui uh, provider for the in the root of our project hero ui provider okay and now let's uh, simply okay let's go to button and add the button using the cli okay installing okay it's installed so let's uh, go to our uh, app remove this button and add the new hero ui button okay hello world and let's check it out okay let's run the react uh, server okay, I'm run dev, refresh and here is the hero ui uh, button let's uh, see some customization for example the color let's change it for uh, primary and as you can see this is the primary blue color we can also use uh, class names for example let's change the around it to lg and as you can see the the corner radius of the button changed next let's see some uh, other uh, components for example the date picker let's copy paste the command okay let's stop the server paste and let's wait it to install okay 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 here we have the usage so let's just let me just uh, transform this into a flex uh, column and with uh, some spacing between the components and next let's uh, add the date uh, picker component okay let's uh, ah, let's uh, check it out okay this is the picker let's uh, change the width let's set it max width to xl okay still long lg or maybe sm yeah sm uh, looks good here we have the date picker let me show you now where we can find uh, these properties for the component basically every hero ui uh, component have this uh, api properties for uh, customization okay let's uh, for example here we have the color to change uh, the date picker color to primary for example and here it is the primary color which is uh, by default uh, blue next uh, let's uh, as you can see here are the all the properties that uh, we can pass to the date picker with uh, the class name so even the class name can be used to customize uh, the date picker and every component basically here we have this uh, okay this uh, properties which will this property which will add the option to select uh, the month and uh, the year from the date picker directly okay as you can see basically just scroll to select the month and the year and your users now doesn't need to spend uh, hours uh, scrolling to reach uh, their birthday and here are the events of uh, the date picker now let's just uh, look into these uh, properties and add more uh, customization for uh, our date picker for example uh, okay let's look 
what do we have here okay okay for example the granularity which is used to set the date picker if we want to add the for example the hours or the minutes to pick okay here we added the hours so for example 12 a.m we can add uh, the minutes okay let me break uh, this down it's uh, it's getting uh, long okay next next and this one good okay for example the minutes if we want to add the minutes here we have for example 12 uh, i don't know 30 or 40 uh, also we can add uh, let's look what we can add okay 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 for example the hours uh, cycle this is what uh, i was looking for for example if you want to uh, 12 hour or 24 hours uh, format so let's select three and let's add here for example 23 so this is the date picker and let's uh, just move on to another component which is the toast uh, the toast, uh, I really like it. It has uh, a beautiful design and animation. So let's just copy this command, install, next, and let's uh, set up the add the toast provider in the root of our project. So in the main, okay, okay, it's uh, still installing. Let's wait. Okay, uh, okay, toast uh, provider. And that's it. That's all what uh, we need to do to add the toast uh, component. So let's uh, try it out. Here we have the e usage code. How uh, we can uh, use this uh, toast component? Okay, let's uh, okay. Let's use our button. Let's change the, for example, the color to secondary or uh, success, which is the. Uh, will give us a green color and here uh, the hero UI button have uh, e on press instead uh, on click and here this is how you can add the toast so let's just go back to our code add toast okay we need to specify uh, a title i think yeah the title description and the uh, color okay title let's say i don't know anything for example toast uh, title just to see the positioning of the elements toast uh, description and the color let's say uh, Okay, let's say success because uh, our button is a success button and let's try it out. Okay, this is the toast. Let's change uh, the text here to say success. Okay, let's click, click. As you can see here, this is the animation I was talking about. The, it's, uh, I don't know. For me, it, uh, it looks really cool. This is the default color. Uh, okay, let's uh, add. Uh, okay, I have something I want to show you too. Okay, I don't. Uh, let's for example, if you want to hide the icon, hide the closed, uh, the close button. Okay, we need to add it. Uh, true, no, true, and uh, true. Okay, now the closed and the hidden button and the icon are hidden, both hidden. And I want to add uh, a timeout, for example, uh, a 5,000 millisecond to, okay, let me look for it. So the toast can be closed uh, automatically. Okay, let me look. Yeah, this is what I want. Okay, let's take a look at the code. Yeah, okay, we need, oh, we need to add the promise. Okay, I don't remember if I did that before. Okay, promise, promise. Uh, no, 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 this is the, the loading toast. Okay, this is not what uh, I was looking for. Okay, let me check again. Yeah, this is the promise one. This is the toast in case uh, you are loading something. Uh, this is not what I want to show you. Okay, 
Okay, we need uh, just to specify a timeout, for example, 3000 millisecond, and uh, let's show the progress. Okay, let's look. Uh, exactly, this is what I want. The loading, uh, the and the, the toast will uh, basically uh, disappear automatically after 3000, uh, after 3 seconds. Okay, now I want to show you how to apply uh, and customize the themes of uh, the the components. Uh, okay, let's change the primary color. Okay, to I don't know something like that to this uh, green color. Uh, okay, let's change the, the secondary color too. And let's keep the success warning and the danger color as uh, they are. Here we can change the font the i don't know the border width everything basically here we have both light and uh, dark mode support and let's uh, just copy the theme and we can paste it in the tailwind config inside the plugin okay don't no no not this one we don't need the curly braces and yeah this is all what uh, we need to do to set up a custom theme Okay, here we have the colors, uh, the primary, the default, the, I don't know, secondary, warning, danger, the background color, and it's uh, both for the light and uh, dark mode. Okay, let's uh, check it out, let's change nothing, and yeah, here we have the primary color we chose, and yeah, the, that's it for the theme. Okay, next uh, let's see how we can add uh, both uh, dark and light mode support. Okay, let's go to dark mode. And here we have the, if uh, we have a Next.js project or a normal uh, React project. Okay, let's uh, install this uh, use uh, theme. And let's just uh, copy the code, use uh, theme hook. Let's uh, just uh, paste it here, import, and let's just, uh, okay, let's just copy the this div, okay, next, yeah, I think uh, let's change it to the here UI buttons, and the change the on click to on press. And just uh, to distinguish, let add, uh, let's change uh, the color to, I don't know, to secondary. And yeah, as you can see, okay, let's, uh, okay, let's uh, remove this div. Yeah, the current uh, theme is dark and here is the light mode. Here is the dark mode and uh, that's it, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, that's easy. So thanks for watching and don't forget to hit uh, the like and subscribe button and see you on the next video.